So I am on my way to meet up with Charles Partridge of Cooper Goalie. Uh, he's made the trip down here to Nashville, Tennessee, and we jumped on the ice yesterday, but he was kind enough to bring some awesome 90s gear for me to try out. So let's go sit down with him and talk about the skate from yesterday. took this trip to Nashville, brought a bunch of gear with you. We jumped on the ice yesterday. Um, how was it? What do you think? I enjoyed it. It's everything I hoped it would be and more. Yeah. So when we jumped on the ice, I was still sitting on my tripods and I look up and you're just wearing your face mask and this kid rips a shot right past your face. <laughs> And right away, I'm like, oh my God, here we go. This guy's got his face mask on. He's almost getting clobbered right away. Yeah, my face was funny because I had a mask on, right? <laughs> that's, that's what I always say. I, d I, don't, I don't fear it, usually. But I do usually think it through before I choose the gear. Like, I try to judge what I'm up against. But, you know, sticks and bucks, you can't... You, you never know what you're going to get there. No. So. It's hard enough to trust. So sometimes your... it's worth it for, you know, the Instagram likes and the, and the yeah. YouTube views. And a huge fame. Yeah, yeah. Have you All been 656 people. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that mask up above you there, I've been hit a couple times. The worst hit was the puck impacted at the corner of the nose and eye. Yeah. So right there where you have like three intersecting angles. So it was a blunt, solid hit. It made a nice scuff mark on the mask at the time. And, um, well, you matrix dodged that one. I looked over. Yeah, the and one you <laughs> pulled your head out of the way. I'm like, oh my god, first shot. Yeah. So I don't, I don't want to get in the gear too much, but um, you brought the Cooper reactors, yep. 90s, right? Yep. So before I jumped in that, you told me something that set the tone for the rest of the skate for me. Actually, you told me another thing too, which we'll we'll get into here in a second. Okay. But what was that thing that you told me? Well, I just skated over to you and reminded you. You're, you're in the, the 90s, 90s now, now, so. You can hash it the f out of it, man. <laughs> you can butterfly, you can half butterfly, you can windmill. There are no rules in the, the 90s like that. There's no rules! So, right. Well, just reminding you to get that in your head so that you'd have that experience. Because you, you, I asked you, you know, anything you might be interested in seeing when I come down and you said hey I'm I'm kind of interested in the 90s and I'm because I'm thinking that way now and right until you said that and like that's kind of how I played when I was younger and I told you on the ice too like yeah. playing for how long now just drilling technique and specific style and a specific way to play and just being able to throw that out the window was like it was kind of a freeing experience it was fun but it wasn't until um you told me to come out and challenge 20 30 feet man you yeah way out there well that again that that also was like just something that was it helped, really helped me kind of break the mold and kind of get into that whole like fun style and just kind of change things up and, and just really enjoy playing in the 90s style with 90s gear. I, and, and it was impressive to me because I can I can watch you like and see that you're evaluating every motion happening on its way to you and then like you're just where you're supposed to be. And you already know, well, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna windmill this. Before the shots even, you know, like he's not even loaded up and you know what's going to happen. And so I get to watch that. And I, I love watching the style of goaltending. So right. it's fun. There was yeah. definitely a couple where I had in my head already, like, oh, I want to windmill this. And the second it was going to glove, like just threw it out there. Or even like, like I said before, like I love the big blocker saves. Yeah. So any chance a puck goes to the blocker, I'm throwing it out there. Yeah. I, like if that was me, I'd be thinking that, and then I'd go to do this big windmill, 
and they'd be shooting it over my right arm, or <laughs> not just be this guy like swatting at flies or something. I mean, you had some pretty good saves too, though. I got lucky a few times, yeah. It was, it was fun. I mean, I had a blast. I, it doesn't matter, ultimately, especially when I'm in that scenario. I'm trying to, um, I don't, I don't, there's things I know I'm supposed to do that I just don't have the muscle memory to do. And so when I'm in a situation like a stick and puck or whatever, like, I don't care if that, you know, 18 year old kid scores 50 goals on me. I'm just going to keep trying. You know, I, I had one save that I made that. I could have gotten scored on the entire time, but the fact that I made that one save made it so worth it. And it was, it might've been the most Hashik thing I've ever done. Cause it was like the full, you know, roll over, get my glove hand back over the post. I've only edited a few clips, and that's one of them I've already edited. I out. haven't even got like, to that I've, point I've yet. got it as a standalone already. Yeah, that was a blast. I was glad we were able to stay for two sessions. Even though, like, <laughs> towards the end of that second session, like, I know your legs were burning, but I was, I was done. I was so gassed. I, ha I have a clip because I had that camera on the dashboard, and I was by it, so... I was over there hyperventilating, having a cardiac episode or something, and grabbed that camera, and I, I was expressing to it, like, every time I take a break, the break is a longer break, and then I go back out to the crease, and it's a shorter time in the crease. It just incrementally is changing. <laughs> right. And then I, I think I summed it up with, I'm pretty sure I'm in um, game-ready condition, not practice-ready condition. <laughs> The essentials, the, that's the yeah. most important part. Yeah, exactly. I should have had a cigarette and a beer with me on the bench or something. Just that complete the look too. Yeah, I don't, it was just, it was fun. Like, I'm glad we had the cameras so we could, I can relive it. Like, I'll be watching those videos and it'll be fun to edit. And, right. Um, yeah, and, and then one of these days we'll have to have you come up and play old timer hockey with me. So <laughs> down for that, so down. I just thought it was cool that you brought gear down for me to try because it's hard enough to do that with modern gear. You know, you can get demo sets or whatever, but you don't get to try out vintage gear like this and be able to try gear from the 90s and like be able to experience the 90s playing style. Like for like me, that was such a great experience. Yeah, actually that gives me an idea because when I did my reactor model line, like gear review for YouTube, I, I called it like, you know, gear review 25 years too late. So now it could be like, you know, gear demo 25 years too late that's genius <laughs> sign me up for that yeah um, and they're the you know you're tall so that 34s are the tallest pads i have those would be great i felt like that whole set was was perfect yeah it looked good on you you're a lot of legs so right th in the photo of us standing next to each other it makes it look strange because your waist is so much higher than mine <laughs> you know and i'm wearing shorter pads but but it looked like where it fit to your knee was just right, so. Yeah, well, my, my tiny Cooper pants and my tiny legs didn't really help affect, and I True. forgot my knee guards. I, I yeah. probably shouldn't have forgot those, but I mean, these were plenty protect, protective and comfortable enough, so. And you answered the question that gets asked all the time to, to me is like, they ask it wrong, people say, can you butterfly in that gear? The answer is no, because they said, can you, and I personally cannot. <laughs> However, you know, you, you show especially a few times, you know, yeah, modern goaltending style oh, yeah. in the old gear and it worked out for you, especially with no knee pads. I don't know how you did that. So yeah, it ended up not being that bad, it's... but I mean, we got a ton of gear to talk about, but before we talk about that, go to Cooper goalie, subscribe because we're going to do a totally separate video talking about just the gear because the nineties gear is totally different than any gear I've ever worn. And the red set you have is obviously a very unique, set of pads absolutely so yeah there you have it that's a video go check out cooper goalie and uh we'll see you around yeah <laughs> cheers cheers
All right, hopefully I hit record on all this. <laughs> okay, Dad.